As we mentioned, there's a lot of concern that, uh, with the limber pine in the area. A famous historic uh, pine is the, the pine and solid rock, the tree on the interstate between Laramie and Cheyenne. So the Adams and other homeowners in this area are concerned about the spread from pine to pine. And the interesting thing about the white pine blister rust, the, it's, it's a fungus that will, in late summer, it'll, in late summer and early fall, will develop fruiting bodies, much like a mushroom. And later on, uh, the spores will be released from those fruiting bodies. But those spores don't go directly to another pine. The, the blister rust has an alternate host to the white pine, and, and that's ribes, the currant, or gooseberries. So the first season of the spores, it'll go to the currant, and then the next year, it'll go from currant over to the pines. And when the spores are released, they'll usually land, and the infection will be on the outer uh, branches, usually not on the main trunk. It'll, it'll start, it'll get on the needles, move into the branches where it'll form cankers. And those cankers will slowly spread and move down the branch, killing the branch, and eventually will get into the main trunk. And that's where the entire tree will be lost. So there's been attempts to uh, eradicate the disease by removing the ribes, the current, the alternate host. But uh, most uh, small acreage owners in this area agree that that current is really an important food source for other wildlife too, and it plays a, a role in the, the natural area here. So other things that can be done to eradicate uh, or to prevent the spread of the canker is to prune out these infected branches before the canker spreads to the main trunk. And in some cases, uh, the blister rust uh, spores actually form on the lower branches, so sometimes limbing up those lower branches where there's uh, more chance of it uh, getting on the tree will help because it likes, it really, the spores really multiply in wetter conditions, a lot of times meaning dew that's near the ground, so having the branches limbed up a little bit and a little bit more airflow uh, through the tree will can help prevent this blister rust from uh, forming on the limber pine to begin with.